For 35 years, Tom Gamboa has been involved with baseball. I knew when I was 10 I was going to spend my life in baseball because it was the only thing that really got to me that I had a passion for. Today, the 60-year-old works for the San Diego Padres organization as the director of instruction. He stops in Eugene a few times during the season to work with the Emeralds. The satisfaction you get as a teacher is passing it on you know, to young kids. As a rower to come down here and That's it. work with things with me. There we go. Very nice. Whether it's hitting or whether it's in the outfield, you know, doing the little things differently to help me to help better my game. I think it's it's great. Put it in the basket. That's it. He's always been a great influence on young players. They did a great job in Milwaukee when I was over there, and he's uh, regarded highly throughout uh, throughout the baseball world as a manager, as an instructor, and as a clinician. Up and back is no good. It's side to side. Now, the average fan might recognize Tom Gamboa as the victim of one of the worst incidents in baseball history. It happened six years ago when he was coaching first base for the Kansas City Royals. Out of nowhere, those guys are going to turn around and see this going on. Chicago, September 19, 2002. Two men, a father and son, jump onto the playing field and attack Gamboa during the ninth inning of the Royals White Sox game. I was in the right place doing my job at the wrong time. They came at me from behind, so I had no idea, you know, what was about to, to happen. And those guys are in a lot of trouble at the bottom of that pile. The wounds from that night run pretty deep, both physically and emotionally. 35 years commitment to the game, replaced by 15 minutes of unwanted fame. It's unfortunate. The people in the game know the, the time that I've spent developing a reputation and working with kids. Uh, but to the average fan, they just know me as, oh, he, that, that's the guy that was attacked in Chicago. He's a guy who's put his time in the game. He's done his time with guys and helping them develop as well. And I think for people to just remember him from that one incident is, is kind of unfair to him. But it is fair to say that the love of the game keeps baseball guys like Tom Gamboa going. Success not measured by wins and losses, but by the development of the players he instructs. It's just fun to watch kids improve. At Civic Stadium, I'm Scott Fleischman.